Endurance challenges in Big Brother are designed to push you to your limit and see how long you can last for. But sometimes, the answer isn't very long. What was designed to be a competition that could go on for hours ends up being completed before the Thursday night episode even finishes. Whether it be due to players throwing the competition, or not being able to hang on, or even just making a legitimate mistake, these competitions saw the competitors drop like flies until there was an unexpectedly early winner. So today, we'll be talking about five, mm, no, six of the shortest competitions in Big Brother history. Before we begin, it feels weird asking so early on, but I only do it because it works. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, it would be greatly appreciated if you hit the subscribe button. I put a lot of work into making these videos, and subscribing is a free and incredibly easy way to support me. Also, if you hear any baby cat noises, my cat just had kittens, but hopefully they'll behave throughout the video. With all that out of the way, we can get right into things. This is the cop I've been waiting for all season. I could seriously hang on this all night. I have no words. Wait, are you guys serious? Now, like I implied, these are the shortest endurance competitions, not the shortest comps in general. Lots of competitions, especially the quiz comps, are designed to be completed fast, so including them here seems extremely pointless. If you really want to know, though, the shortest competition ever was the What the Bleep HOH comp at the final six of Big Brother 16, which lasted for a grand total of one question before everyone other than Derek was eliminated. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about the endurance competitions. While I was doing my research for the video, I found that I ran into a huge problem. For whatever reason, Big Brother doesn't always tell us the times of certain competitions. If the endurance competition isn't on the feeds, we're pretty much at the mercy of Big Brother to tell us how long it lasted for, and sometimes they just don't tell us. Luckily, by digging through old feed archives and putting some puzzle pieces together, I was able to find the times of most of the contenders I thought had a shot of being on this list, except for one. So because of this, I'm throwing in an honorable mention for the sixth shortest endurance competition, so this way we will at least have five guaranteed short comps while also having the unconfirmed one. So the sixth shortest competition in Big Brother history, as far as I can tell, is the slip and slide competition in Big Brother 20, which Fessy won in a blazingly fast 27 minutes. In this comp, the house guests had to slide back and forth on a slippery surface while transferring goo from their barrel to a tube, and whoever filled their tube to the top first and grabbed the ball would win the HOH. Now typically, the slip and slide comp will last for at least a couple of hours. However, this variation must have been built differently because the house guests flew through it. I've read that the lanes were turned sideways from what they normally are, which I guess either made each lane less steep and easier to traverse, or it meant that the lanes were shorter than what they typically were. On top of that, the tubes that the Hoskas had to fill were much smaller and therefore had a much lower volume than most past tubes, meaning it would be much faster to fill up. So not only do you have arguably the easiest variation of the slip and slide ever, but you also have Fessy competing in it. The slip and slide typically favors tall men with long strides, and Fessy is one of the tallest men with one of the longest strides. So when you put it all together, you have one of the tallest competitors ever playing on the easiest version of this comp, so is it really a surprise that Fessy beasted through it? He was in the lead from minute one and never looked back. And after 27 minutes, Fessy grabbed his ball to win the comp, and it clocks in as probably the sixth fastest endurance comp of all time. This competition is called Glow and Flow. First house guest to fill their large glow stick and remove their ping pong ball will be the new head of household. This competition starts now. Ooh. I'm by far the biggest guy in the house. I'm 6'5", 240 pounds. So my body's hurting, but I gotta push through this pain. Easy, Fessy. Easy, big fella. Vessel off to an early lead. Vessel is currently in the lead. Bessie still in the lead. Let's go, Bessie! I do it! And Bessie has won the HOH! Let's go! Coming, mama. Let's get it, HOH, boy. I told you, I do this. <laughs> Now, at the number five spot, we have the one competition that I'm not sure of. 
It might be a good idea now to let you know that there will be a couple of Big Brother Canada comps. However, I'm trying my best to make sure that there's no real spoilers in there. Anyways, I've done my research and I think I have a good estimate of how long it took, but it's impossible to know for sure, so I am hesitantly putting in the Pipe Dream HOH comp from Big Brother Canada 7. The concept for this comp was simple yet brutal. The house guests just had to hang upside down from a pipe as long as they could, and the last house guest hanging on would win. From what I've seen online, everyone other than Corey had dropped after only a handful of minutes, and the likely outcome is that the competition lasted for only around 15 minutes. However, there's not a single time reference given in the episodes, so I really have no idea how long it actually lasted for. From the looks of things, the players were dropping relatively fast, and once it came down to just Adam and Corey, Adam quickly made a deal for his safety and then dropped out, leaving Corey as the last player left. What's really funny is that one of the producers claimed that they expected this competition to last for up to five hours, but instead it was over in a matter of minutes. We're probably never going to know exactly how long this competition lasted for, but if the estimate of 15 minutes is even just close to being accurate, then it definitely has a spot in the top five shortest endurance comps. Hello, house guests. This competition is called Pipe Dream. Your mission is to hang on to your pipe for as long as you can. The last house guest hanging on will become the new head of household. This competition starts now. This is fun. This competition takes incredible strength on your legs, your arms, your core, every single muscle in your body. <sighs> Holy f ah. oh. oh my god. Good job, Damien. Now it's down to myself, Adam, and Dane. And I love that I'm sitting right in between them so they can look at my face and see that I'm sitting solid. You're good. Give it to me. You want it? I want it. That means I'm safe? Yeah, oh yeah. You promise? Got it. Ah! The fact that I can beat out all of the boys in an endurance competition. Congratulations, Corey. You are the new head of household. Hey! Up next, we have kind of a shocking one. The fourth fastest endurance comp of all time was the Disneyland HOH and Jury Battleback competition from Big Brother 17. We've seen this sort of competition before, where the players would stand on a disc and try to hang on as long as possible. These competitions usually lasted several hours, and since this was also a Jury Battleback competition, you knew that the competitors were going to be fighting hard for the win. However, there must have been something to the design of this competition that threw things off because the endurance competition from start to finish was only 13 minutes long. There were 10 players fighting in this and four of them were fighting for a spot back in the game. So how did it just last for 13 minutes? Maybe it's because the discs were especially small, or maybe it's because the players were spinning around so fast, but whatever the reason was, these house guests were dropping like flies. Before the live show had even ended, three players had fallen out, and seconds later, once the feeds turn on, we saw pretty much every other house guest fall within a minute and a half. It was down to just Johnny Mac and Vanessa after 12 total minutes, which meant that Johnny Mac had won the battle back portion of the competition, and now the two were just fighting for the HOH. What's humorous here is that Vanessa tried to make a deal with Johnny Mac to give her the win, but he said, no, let's go for it. However, not even a minute later, Johnny Mac stepped down, giving the win to Vanessa after just 13 minutes. To this day, I am still scratching my head as to how this competition knocked everybody out so quickly, but regardless of how it happened, it did happen. And it lands here as the fourth fastest endurance comp of all time. Up next, it's two epic competitions in one. Four jurors battling to get back in the game and everyone fighting to be the new head of household. This competition is called Dizzyland. Oh, that hand's not fun. Nope. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Is that like hard to hold on to? Yeah. Oh yeah. Not only are we spinning around, but we have to keep one foot on the disc at all times. This competition is so much harder than it looks. We are spinning so fast. Oh. Oh, you're in! It's down to 
down to the final two. John versus Vanessa. John, 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 you're safe, you're safe. I know I'm safe, but I gotta, I got to do what I gotta do. Yeah. Woo! Yes! Vanessa is the new head of household. You get so dizzy. I bet, man. Jeez, you're spinning like crazy. At the number three spot, we have admittedly the most underwhelming one of them all, and that's the final four HOH from Big Brother 21. In a competition very similar to the one we just talked about, we saw as Cliff, Nicole, and Holly had to stand on a disc and try to be the last player standing. However, prior to this competition, Cliff and Nicole had made a deal with Holly that she would throw this HOH to them if they agreed not to evict her at five. Holly accepted this deal, obviously, and we saw the consequences of that play out. This competition was the exact one that Holly had been waiting for all season, and she knew that she could win it, but wanting to stick by her word, she knew she had to throw it. After the competition had begun, we saw that Cliff was struggling, and within minutes, he had fallen. This just left Holly and Nicole, and even though you could tell she wanted it, Holly dropped as well, leaving Nicole as the winner after merely a handful of minutes. Now, this is another example of a competition where we weren't given the actual length of time that it lasted, and the competition was already over by the time the feeds came on, but by doing a little bit of math, we can figure out that the competition lasted for, at most, like 8 minutes, and realistically, it was probably closer to like 6 minutes. Regardless of the specifics, it was an incredibly short competition competition and it lands here as the third fastest endurance comp of all time. Welcome to BB Stunt Camp. The last house guest hanging on will be the new head of household. Are you throwing it or not? Wow. Now. Throw it now. Maybe after all. Or maybe after the falls, I don't know. Fall, Holly. Fall. Let's fall. This is the comp I've been waiting for all season. Knowing that I have to throw a comp that should be all mine, I have no words. Wait, are you guys serious? You just won. Seriously? Yeah. Are you guys serious? Congratulations, Nicole. You are the new head of household. It really is, I know. And now we get into the truly ridiculous stuff. If you thought six minutes was short, you've got another thing coming. Up next, we have what I thought to be the most unbreakably short endurance comp of all time. The competition in question is the Mount HOH comp, which was part one of the final HOH in Big Brother 7. The rules were that the three house guests had to stand on a volcano prop and hold onto a key above their heads with both hands, and the player that lasted the longest would win. The premise seems simple enough, and just by sizing up the setup, I figure I could probably last at least an hour. And when you consider the fact that these were some of the best competitors of all time, you'd figure that this competition likely would last for hours. So wasn't it a surprise when this competition lasted for, and I'm not kidding, 25 seconds? Yeah, that's it. 25 seconds. How is that even possible? Well, as soon as the competition began, Mike Boogie realized that the other two women competing were probably going to be up there for hours, so wanting to be as rested up as possible for part two, Mike Boogie let go almost immediately, and he made a spectacle of it. Janelle was so taken aback by this move that in a moment of disbelief, she accidentally lifted one of her hands from the key, which immediately disqualified her as well. So within 30 seconds of the competition starting, you had Mike Boogie purposely drop, and then you had Janelle accidentally let go because of that, which only left Erica standing after 25 seconds. It's one of the most bizarre things to watch happen in a competition, and the fact that it all happened live made things even more exciting and wild. What should have been an epic and comp for the ages ended up being over before you knew it and it's one of the most iconic moments of all time we are about to begin the final head of household competition welcome to mount hoh the object is to stay on the volcano holding on to your key if you let go of your key you will be eliminated does everyone understand the rules mm -hmm. both hands have to be on yes the competition begins now Hey, Julie. Yes, Mike? You remember Richard Hatch? They both have to take me to the finals. What? I told you, Janelle. 
You guys, you can't take each other. You have to take me. I'm hanging on, I don't care. The ladies have a tough night ahead of them and things are about to erupt. Stay with us. All right, ladies, listen up. Janelle, I just saw it again. I'm sorry, but you did not have both hands on your key for the entire yeah. time. So Erica, you are the winner of round one. When, so congratulations to you. When did I take my hands off? I didn't, whoa. From outside the Big Brother house, I'm Julie Chen. Good night. Now what, do we continue or? Now, if you had asked me a few months ago, I would have said there is no way in any universe that there would be an endurance comp that ended faster than Big Brother 7's Final HOH Part 1, but since it was at the number 2 spot, something clearly beat it. Before I reveal what it is, I am letting you know that this comp does come from the most recent season of Big Brother Canada, Big Brother Canada 11, and it will spoil who is in the final five. It doesn't spoil anything past that, but if you'd rather not know, here's your warning. Okay, so at the number one spot, somehow we have the Take It or Lever HOH comp. It was at the final five of Big Brother Canada 11, and the players had to place one foot on a lever and balance an HOH statue that was placed on the other side. Whichever house guest could keep the statue balanced the longest would win the competition. The comp got started, and just as the players were trying to find a comfortable position, boom. Daniel drops, Ty drops, and Renee drops all in a row and all almost basically instantly. In just 17 seconds, only Anika was left standing, making this the fastest endurance competition of all time. 17 seconds is all that this competition lasted for. Look, I get it. I would be awful at this competition and the statues were rested on a very small platform. But 17 seconds? I've probably talked for four times the length of this competition in just this section alone. It's so funny how quick this comp was. I am still shocked that something managed to beat out the Volcano comp in Big Brother 7, but here we are. The Take It or Leave It competition is the fastest endurance challenge in all of Big Brother. This competition is called Take It or Lever. You will carefully place your foot on the end of your beam. Keep your HOH statue balanced on the other end. Three, two, one, go. I could say, no, no, no. what the hell? Oh my God! <laughs> I can't believe how quick I won and how much everyone else sucked at the comp. I thought this was gonna go for way longer. <laughs> a whole three seconds? Yeah. You might have set a world record here, people. This probably was the shortest HOH competition of all time. And there we go. While I'm always going to root for endurance competitions to last as long as possible, there is definitely something to be appreciated when an endurance comp lasts for such a comically short amount of time. If I can't have an endurance comp last for 17 hours, then I guess the next best thing is 17 seconds. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I of course need to give that extra special shout out to all of my YouTube members who I can personally guarantee would last at least 30 seconds in the Take It or Leave It comp. And as always, here's a clip for you on your way out. Give it to me. That means I'm safe? Yeah, oh yeah. Promise? Got it. I heard Adam strike up a deal with Corey. What the hell, Adam? Are you part of the Pretty Boy Alliance or are you part of Saddam? Kira has been saying to people that it's been you and me that started this whole backdoor plan on Corey. Okay, but who are you trying to pin it on? I don't know, Kira or Sam. Where are you going? Where come are you uh, going come here. I don't want to talk right now, man. Oh my god. I knew you guys were going to do this. Oh my. Yo, Adam. This guy's psychotic.